In a thrilling revelation, Elon Musk, the visionary behind SpaceX, shared a surprising update on the highly anticipated Starship program. Breaking from the familiar Starship version 2, Musk introduced plans for the next level, Starship version 3, currently in active development. While the world awaits the unveiling of Starship version 2, the announcement of its successor adds an extra layer of excitement and anticipation to the future of space exploration. Elon Musk proudly said, during the announcement. As I was saying earlier, <laughs> rapidly reusable, reliable rocket. Um, yeah. So, um, and we've got, uh, yeah, a block, uh, sort of a version two ship uh, that will be more reliable, better performance, endurance. We've got a, a version three ship uh, design that will stretch, that, that be even taller, <laughs> probably end up being, I don't know, 140 meters before it's all said and done, maybe 150 in the end, in, in, in length. Um, so, uh, yeah, so it'll be even taller <laughs> than it currently is. The revelations of Starship version 3 is nothing short of astonishing. SpaceX, renowned for its rapid advancements, has once again defied expectations with the rapid progression from Starship version 2 to the unveiling of version 3. The design and energy capabilities of version 3 are poised to surpass its predecessors within the illustrious Starship family, showcasing SpaceX's commitment to pushing the boundaries of rocket technology. Musk's ability to swiftly introduce these groundbreaking developments leaves us in awe, sparking curiosity about the incredible power that Starship version 3 holds. The rapid evolution of SpaceX's Starship program continues to captivate us with its unprecedented pace. Musk's recent mention of version 3, with an increased height ranging from 140 meters to 150, has ignited our imaginations. While Musk didn't delve into specific details, we can draw educated speculations based on the progression from version 2. Starship version 2, anticipated to reach a height of 130 meters is supposed to feature nine Raptor engines, a notable increase from the current six. Extrapolating from this, Starship version 3 could potentially tower 10 to 20 meters higher, constituting a 10 to 15 percent increase over the height of version 2. While the exact engine count for version 3 remains uncertain, SpaceX might introduce a more potent version of the Raptor engine to further enhance payload capacity. The Raptor engine version 3 for Starship version 2 is a newly manufactured manufactured version by SpaceX first tested in May of 2023. Raptor 3 has higher ISP, or specific impulse, a measure of how efficiently a rocket engine uses its fuel, more thrust, and many other improvements, Musk said. The current Raptor 2 engines produce 250 tons of thrust, whereas the Raptor 3 engines are expected to generate roughly 269 tons of thrust, marking a 17% improvement. With Starship version 3, the larger size implies an increase in propellant mass. I wonder whether the elongated portion will be for the propellant tanks or a payload bay. The development of Starship version 3 signifies SpaceX's dedication to continuous improvement and innovation in space exploration. As the company progresses through different flight versions, it aims to address various technical challenges, demonstrating the resilience and adaptability of Starship design. However, SpaceX will continue to launch its version version 1, Starship, before debuting the upgraded versions. The final four are ships 28, 29, 30, and 32, with 31 having likely been scrapped. It's not clear if all four of these will be used in future tests, but ship 28 and booster 10 are the next pair that will change the game in the third Starship launch next month. Musk expressed great confidence in this flight, seemingly assuring us of victory in the form of a successful third flight. With flight one, the goal was not to blow the, the, the pad up and ideally get, get some distance, which we did. With flight two, it was to get past a staging, so we achieved the goal of getting past a staging and almost to orbit. And then flight, uh, flight three, we've got, uh, well, we want to get to orbit and we want to do uh, an, an in-space uh, engine burn uh, from the header tank and, and prove uh, the, that we can rel reliably deorbit. Um, we want to do a tipping point uh, header domain uh, propellant transfer. Uh, this is uh, important for the, 
uh, NASA. As Jessica Jensen, Vice President of Customer Operations and Integration at SpaceX, announced a few days earlier, hardware readiness for the upcoming launch has been scheduled for January, indicating a potential launch in the following February. The upcoming test flight could include a demonstration of cryogenic propellant transfer in Starship, a precursor to more complex orbital propellant transfers. This technology is crucial for future moon landing missions under the Artemis program scheduled to take place no earlier than September of 2026. However, one point of contention is the number of tanker launches required to refuel the Starship lunar lander. Musk previously estimated no more than eight launches, but recent statements from NASA suggest the number is higher, possibly in the teens. Jensen gave a rough estimate of 10 hours of launch time, although she noted that the actual number could change based on the results of the initial test flights. Despite the complexity of transporting propellants in space, SpaceX remains optimistic, drawing on its extensive experience with rendezvous and docking missions to the International Space Station, as well as rapid launch sequences using Falcon 9 and heavy vehicles. The main challenges remains the delivery of cryogenic propellants into orbit, which remains unproven. However, SpaceX's iterative testing approach, both on the ground and in space, is designed to methodically address this challenge. Musk has also reiterated this in his speech, stating that in terms of achieving that, clearly we want to speed up the production and testing process, achieve a high cadence for any specific technological development, you know, how many iterations we have, and what is the amount of time between each iteration. So with each launch, we learn. Every time we launch or conduct a test, we learn something more. To increase that cadence of launching and testing, it's always better to sacrifice hardware rather than sacrifice time, because time is a real currency. That is the fastest way to achieve it. In anticipation of SpaceX's third Starship test flight, the aerospace community and space enthusiasts are eagerly awaiting the next developments. This upcoming mission not only signifies a crucial test of SpaceX's technological capabilities, but also represents another significant stride towards realizing its vision of sustainable exploration. Indeed, during the event, Musk also articulated his ambitious explorations that only Starship could accomplish. His vision for the future of SpaceX transcends the boundaries of Earth, aiming for nothing less than a multi-planetary civilization that is self-sustaining. Musk said, is an actual path that we are on to make life multi-planetary. Can you friggin' believe that? Like, what? <laughs> yeah, we just gotta get it done before civilization ends, but... But like, I think we, a thing is going to happen. The initial step in the roadmap is the moon, and it's not just about setting foot on the moon again, but also establishing a long-term presence there. On the moon, um, with enough frequency that you could actually have a permanently occupied moon base. That's, that's the next really big threshold from Apollo, uh, is have, a, have an actual moon base. Um, I remember seeing this, like, I guess kind of cheesy sci-fi show long time ago called Moonbase Alpha. He added. However, his ultimate goal remains Mars, and lunar bases serve as a solid stepping stone for him to transform Mars into his domain. As SpaceX propels itself into the future, Musk's vision acts as a guiding star, directing the company toward pioneering efforts that could redefine humanity's place in the cosmos. The challenges may be immense, but with each technological breakthrough and strategic advancement, SpaceX inches closer to transforming these dreams of interplanetary habitat habitation into concrete realities. Thanks for tuning in, space enthusiasts. Elon Musk just dropped some major bombshells about SpaceX's Starship version 3, and it's got us all buzzing with excitement. What are your takeaways from this rapid progression from version 2 to 3? With a potential height increase of 140 to 150 meters, Starship version 3 is promising some serious upgrades. How do you think this will impact its design, propellant mass, and payload capacity compared to version 2? The upgraded Raptor engine version 3 is a game changer for Starship version 2. How do you see these improvements affecting its performance and payload capacity in Starship version 3? Do you think they'll have to redo the orbital launch mount on the count of the engine being so powerful? And there being 33 of them at this time? Wait, isn't there supposed to be 39? Am I going crazy? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, SpaceX's iterative testing is tackling the challenge of cryogenic propellant delivery in orbit. How optimistic are you about their success, especially considering their experience? 
experience with rendezvous and docking missions. The upcoming Starship test flight is also a crucial item on the list, especially for cryogenic propellant transfer. What are your expectations for this test and its impact on future moon landing missions under the Artemis program? Also, Musk's vision of a multi-planetary civilization is quite captivating, starting with lunar bases, of course. What about you? What's your take on SpaceX's goals for the moon, and how do you envision the Moonbase Alpha project? And as Musk eyes Mars, what challenges do you foresee in SpaceX's journey to turn those interplanetary dreams into reality? Share your thoughts on the future of interplanetary habitation in the comments down below. Your insights fuel these discussions, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell for more space talk. Because you know why? Your feedback is very important to us and helps us make better videos for you. So for that, we thank you so much, and we hope to see you again next time. Bye-bye!